What's up guys? Welcome to my Lux YouTube channel, you know, one source for trending news, celebrity gossip and entertainment news. If you're joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. What's up guys? Welcome back to my Lux YouTube channel, you know, one source for entertainment. There's a lot of buzzing news to let's see what the news have for us. First, we're going to talk about Iyabo Ojo. She's telling people what to do when they're in relationships. Then we're going to talk about Bobriski. Bobriski had a talk with Ubi Franklin. He has been in the news with James Brown. They have been having a scruffle. We're going to talk about that. And we're still going to talk about Tenny. Tenny is giving us advice on fake friends. We're going to see what Tenny had to say. And still, we have this man, MC Olomo and his side chick. They have been in the news back and front. She built a house. We're going to talk about that. Her friend is here to defend her. And what do we, what do we have again? Wow, Nigerians in the news are sure be for Biden Hillary inauguration. And the final thing we have to talk about is this lady who has things to say about people saying you fake a lot. So let's get down to business, in it. So Yabo Ojo is coming to tell her, it's coming out to tell people what to do in abusive relationships, to do when when you're in a tight relationship. There are many people in abusive relationship that don't know how to exit it, and she's here giving people advice, man. Let's see what she has to say. You and then you need me. To tell you what to do. My dear, if you are in so much pain in your marriage or in your relationship, if you are going through so much and then you can no longer take the strain, you don't need nobody to tell you what to do. You need... So we get what she's saying, isn't it? If you are in an abusive relationship, your partner is beating you, they're treating you poorly, you should exit it, man, you should leave. Because there are many cases, recently we have been hearing of the guy beat the girl. The guy stabbed the girl, the girl stabbed the guy. This is when Paul hot water on this person, man. If you're in an abusive relationship, just leave. It feels as if she's talking to somebody, as if somebody knows her personality that's going through this. And she didn't, she's been talking to the person, that's why she's making a video about it. But some of our advice is that if you're in an abusive relationship, please, if you're in that relationship and it feels not working out for you, man, you should leave. The next thing we have is Bobriski. Talk with Ubi Franklin. Bobriski has been in the news, as I told you guys. She has been in the news. She seems to call her shit, man. With, with James Brown. Her and James Brown have a little scuffle. And this is how Ubi Franklin has what she has to say in it. It's not even advisable for everybody to like you. It's not. Yeah. Because the moment everybody likes you or loves you, you need yeah. to check yourself. You might die yeah. of time. Do you get? So, yeah. when some people don't like you, let's assume we have. 100%. 60% love you. I know I can't take my risk serious, serious for real. Like you. See, yeah. you are doing perfect. Perfect, doing perfect, 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 guys. Because you don't need, you don't need to like me. As we see, Bobiski is very, very controversial. She came for James Brown. James Brown is working for everything. He's taking everything she worked for in it. And now she's saying, everybody don't need to like you. You got to do what you got to do. She has a point there, man. Uh, the last person to see Bobiski has a point when, she, when she's saying something. But she actually has a point. Everybody doesn't have to like you. The part of life is that you have haters, man. Haters means you are doing something that other people don't like. You will just be a clown if everybody likes you because different opinion. Everybody has their own way of belief. But basically, is bringing out the correct point here. But I mean, the whole cross dressing thing. She's rocking it. I don't know why hands in front are fighting. They should settle their beef. We're moving on, man. Don't be Bobriski. Tenny is telling people to not inherit the friends of their enemies. So you know. This is how it grows. You have a friend, your friend will not be talking to somebody, and you'll be like, okay, my friend's not talking with you, me and you will not be talking, or you just inherit the beef. Or because your friend is not talking to this person, you guys, you two, and that person will not be cool. And Tenny has a message for you, and you let her hear what she has to say. I don't need things as money. This life. You carry another person any meal. Penny, Penny is always for you. My mistake. What did she do? My friend and my ex-boyfriend, when they fight, I carry her for head, I insult the guy. I say I must watch anywhere where I see the guy and I say so tired and tired. Now they don't come back together. They, they do love, love. I love and they see their snapshot. So they love that the guy now don't ask all of our other friends for account number. So he won't give them money. He don't ask for my own. You see? So he don't good make the thing. Tell me always have funny twist to things, man. She's just telling you you don't inherit your Friends enemy, and according to her, this actually happened to her. I think Tenny is joking right here, but she said it happened to her that one of her friends had issues with her boyfriend, and she, you know, was solidarity with your friend, and she went hard on the guy and all. But at the same time, now the guy, the friend, and the guy are back together, and now the guy is trying to send 
money to all the friends minus her because obviously the girl will tell the guy that you know when I broke up with you, this guy, this girl was saying I should not come back with you, she was insulting you and all. And now ten is telling you don't inherit your friend's enemy. I know she's coming from a playful place. She's coming from a playful place, but man, Tenny has some wise words. Let's move on, man. What do you have in the news, man? MC Olowo or MC Olomo? How do they call him? The Lagos gangster, man. The guy has a lot of side chicks and he's doing well with all of them. So one woman that is rumored to be his side chick built a house, man. And the rumors are flying that he said, Olomo built her house for her. And she came out and she's like, nah, the guy didn't do any stuff for me. No any man helped me build my house. And the man that helped me build my house should come out. And this her friend coming out to... Her friend's aid. Let's hear what the friend had to say in it. Okay, now let's talk about, you say, A, A, A is falling MC for money. What is it? What exactly is A you looking for? She has fleets of cars in her house. She has latest cars. Not like, uh, just like small cars. What the no. fuck is this? She has, okay, see the house she's living in. She went to um, she went to um, Italy to buy her furniture. She went to Turkey to buy her furniture. So you just wake up and she just met this guy like how many months ago? Let me tell you something. When once you are a rich girl, <laughs> you would decide who you date. Who? You would decide who you date. You would date for love at that at some point. You would you would date for love. God you damn! Not, you this is actually gangster man. You would choose who you date. So you have to work hard. To build your brand. It's not all girls date men because of money. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. So is it Apparently uh, this video Okay now let's talk this about video is popping. There's a lot of this video. Uh, let's let's watch more. Of this one, closed leg. Uh, what is what is what is now that she's one? talking about the what is really that one? She's talking about the so association of the association of stingy men that are saying we're going to close leg, we're not giving women money. And women are saying no association of stingy women that say they will not be giving girls and uh, guys knacks because guys are not dropping money and guys say they will not give girls money they will not drop knacks and now she's coming for that she's coming for everything they work for just because you want to bring her down that's not nice so uh, for those people that are saying why i'm making this video is because those of you that are saying that a is following a, a mc for money you people should stop that some people actually love you love can take you anywhere ah <laughs> Love, okay, because he, um, because this one did not go to school, because this one went to school, so you will be you will be now be saying some things online. Listen, we know who is sponsoring you. Tell his ex that he has as 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 like she's not interested again. This is actually this is actually more gangster than I thought, man. So people just say the guy was following the girl for money, but apparently it's bigger than that. Some people are trying rumor because new big girls talk. It feels as if they are talking to themselves, but they're talking to all of us. Some people are rumoring she's just following him for money. Her friends coming out to say the girl is not following him for money. She just met the guy some six months ago. But the real question is, the friend is now saying if you have money, you can date anybody you want. That some, once you have money, you find love. Now she's trying to say her friend is in love with MC Olomo. But let's not forget, the guy is married, man. He's married with kids. And this all started because somebody came online and posted her picture, like chilling. Then his son came and said, my father's wife or our, our father's wife and she was like what's up dear or something like that and everybody was like ooh is she the side chick and everybody knows that once you're that guy's side chick is going to be bullying you she's defending her friend saying we know who is sponsoring you that's talking to the other person they think is leaking out the information and so we should tell his ex that she's not doing so it feels as if the, his girl's ex is spreading the rumors around in the end it's actually an issue man in the, my own opinion of this is that they're going to settle their issue. All this is just drama. All this is drama. Let's see what the news has for us in it. Man, Nigerians are very, very funny. We're very illustrious. We know how to do what we're going to do, man. This is now our presidential election. I'll have assured you before the inauguration. Will you believe? And it's sold out, man. Election party. God damn, man. Drop a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. Will you be rocking the Ashore B? Like, if somebody gives the Ashore B, will you really pay money to rock it? And last but not the least, the least things we have, the next thing we have in the news today is this lady that has been scammed by scammers on Instagram. So, so many vendors, many people sell things on Instagram, you should share media to further their business, man. So, you go on social media, you tell them, I want to buy this, they send you account number, you pay the money, and they send you the stuff. Pretty simple, in it? Some scammers, you always be scammers, man. They're taking advantage of that. 
and just come in people and let's hear what this lady yeah, has to say on her page, watch this video to the end and share with your friends that she's actually pinned you can see she's pinned man we're in follow instagram we're in follow instagram Allergic to scam. A shoe. She sent her. If you are a shop, if you've seen the post of my on my page that I said the 2020 shoe, she sent her a picture of the shoe. She said she wants it in two 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 colors and two sizes. You understand? She now says the story is really oh, interesting, man. Take that it alert to my friend, and it was almost during closing time. It's for our business, not for my business. It was almost closing time as the market, so she just passed it, thinking that network was bad in the market. And sent out the package to her. They are sent the package to this idiot. <sighs> and she was already messaging and uh, confirm my alert now. Something, something. They should have sent it. And she was worried that the scam that she had sent it to be in already. My mom was shy here when she was saying out that I want to confirm my last now. She now um, gave my mommy the number. My mommy now helped her to help me to give her plenty of page. Last last we recovered the goods. You understand? That's not the issue. The issue is now that, like on Saturday, or on Friday or Saturday, so the ship. Interesting story, in it. I was replying message, WhatsApp messages myself, and I saw a message from from somebody. I want this shoe. She sent the picture of the 2020 shoe and said she wants two pairs, two pairs, ten ten thousand naira each. She paid for. She wanted two delivery to Bini one five that's twenty one thousand five hundred naira. That was the first alert they sent to my friend to. So she sent the alert. It wasn't immediately I got that alert. I don't know why. My friend had already traveled. She was not in Lagos. So my, my mind just went to her. And I called her immediately. Hello, Francis. Please, what is the name of that person that uh, sent you fake alert? I don't know. I could have waited a while to confirm the alert. But my spirit did not just. My spirit was scared. You understand? Damn. Yeah. Her spirit was scared. You know, Interesting. I got a message. I was replying message, WhatsApp messages myself, and I saw a message from. I said this same person just messaged me. This same person. So the story of the story, somebody scammed a friend and tried to scam her in it. Guys, if you're selling anything on Instagram, selling anything on social media, be careful, man. Scammers are out there, and there's no love in this 2021 from them. Drop a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. See you guys next time. Bye.